So there's a lot of people here who've come from all over the country. Uh, you have as well. You flew out the other night. Uh, what's bringing you here for the congressman? Best candidate running for president that I've seen in my lifetime. Yeah. And what's the most important issue that you think uh, his platform represents for the American people? Mm -hmm. uh, health insurance is the most important, the one I'm most passionate about in the short term, mm -hmm. and I know he is in the long term, is impeach, remove, jail. I mean, that's got to happen for the moral reasons that he talked about inside. Uh, also, you know, one of the worst things that I think has happened, you know, in the last 35 years, last 30 years, is is President Ford pardoning President Nixon. Because all those same people that were working for Nixon, that was a signal to them that, yeah, you can, you can commit big crimes and you can get away with it. And then you can go right back to work a little while later, some years later. And that's what's happened. It's, it's, not, only, it's not only a bad message to the rest of the world, but it's a terrible message to those people who are ill-inclined in our own country because it will keep happening again and again. And there are people in this administration now, not the old, you know, grizzled, uh, greedy hacks uh, left over from Nixon's time, but young, younger versions of them that are in there now. It's, it's like teaching a kid the wrong thing is what it is, you know, because we all have a, a kid inside. You know, believe it or not, Dick Cheney has a kid inside. He was a goofball kid at some point. You know, so was Rumsfeld. So were all those people that were involved back then. And this is like saying, yeah, it's all right. You can lie. You can steal. You can cheat. You can kill. It's, it's okay. If you do it really big, it's really okay. And you can get rich doing it. Right. It's just a bad thing all the way around. And that's, so that's the thing I feel the strongest about, that he is so uncompromising about that. We've got, I don't know, I don't know, even know what time it is, but it's give or take 10 hours before people start voting. Uh, p people from the campaign are here, other citizens of New Hampshire are here, you're here. The message for these guys in the next uh, 12 hours. Well, it's, it's that thing. I've, I, had, I had some, one guy just now come up to me. It's the third person that's come up to me since we were inside. And he said, you know, he's wearing this, John Edwards button. Uh, and he said, uh, you know, I was listening to what you guys were saying in there and what you were saying about, uh, about now's the time, life's too short. You've got to vote in your own uh, best interest. You've got to do the right thing. There's no, there's no time like now. We're suffering uh, from electile. He said, he said I'm going to do it. And I said, all right, give me that. So I gave him my Kucinich bin. He gave me this. And I said, I will keep it as a, an odd relic, <laughs> hopefully, <laughs> this John Edwards pin. No, no offense to John Edwards. Right. Uh, he's doing what he thinks he needs to do. It's just nowhere near enough. Right. And this man knows what needs to be done. And I think the more you can talk to people about that thing, you know, right now, he doesn't need the votes of New Hampshire. Obama, with the wave he's on right now, does not need the votes of people from New Hampshire. Dennis Kucinich not only deserves the vote, but it, it means a lot. Each vote for him is like giving Obama 20 votes. That's how meaningful it is. So if there's anybody you know in your family, your friends around, just be a pain in the neck tomorrow and tonight. Stay up and do it. And say, look, I know you're saying it's the practical thing. Let's be realistic. You know, don't waste your vote. Just say, look, you know, who's telling you that your vote doesn't count? Your vote counts if you believe it counts. That's what the democracy is about. That's what, that's what, that's what this whole thing is about. That's why we're here. That's why he's here. That's certainly why I'm here. You said something really great about on the bus last night. Just some last thing I want these people to hear it as well about how old are you? Remember what, remember what you were talking about? How old are you? And uh, when are you going to start doing something that you're proud of? Right. When you, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't know what I said <laughs> yesterday. We said so many things, but I believed every single one. <laughs> um, no, I mean, how how old do you have to get? You know, uh, before you realize, no, I need to do these things now. You know, you don't want to get. You know, if you're lucky, you get to live a, a, a good long life. But towards the end of that life, do you want to look back at moments like this? New Hampshire primary, if you're, if you're from New Hampshire, and say, you know what, why didn't I vote for him? I mean, I should have done that. It was so obvious, so simple. You know, there's that strange disconnect that this has to do with, which is 
someone comes here, people, people come here and they, they were intending to vote tomorrow, and now they say they're not, I hope they don't, uh, we're going to vote for other people, now they're going to vote for him. And it's the thing that's happening to them, and they seem like all very intelligent people, otherwise they wouldn't have come here on, on instinct, you know, and desire, curiosity, to listen to Dennis Kucinich. There's something smart about them, right? And nevertheless, they were going to do what I think for them and for the country was the wrong thing. The disconnect is this. Okay, this guy is amazing. I listened to him tonight. He is the greatest possible candidate. I, it would be a dream if he were president. If he were going around the world talking like this to other world leaders, it would just make life easier for everyone on this planet. So I can't possibly vote for him. No, it should be, I must absolutely vote for him immediately and tell everybody I know and stay up all night if I have to and go around all day. Uh, you know, and the last person say, skip school, skip work, but do it, do it. All day tomorrow. Go around just hammering on people politely and saying, if you believe what I'm saying, say the same thing to them. Just say that because that's the truth. You got to do it. Life's too short. Country's in too much trouble. The world's in too much trouble. Got to do it. Thanks, Ray. Thanks, Vigo. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.